All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Link, Link Click, Season 1, Episode 6. The All Popo right. is here. Mm -hmm. The fuzz is on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they're not here to get you. They're here because mm. they need your help. Right. They have a case that yeah. needs solving. These aren't time police, as far as we know. These are regular police. Right, right. Cool. And I'm excited for this because, well, the powers that they have, or that one of them has, mm -hmm. feels perfectly set up for this kind of a drama. Oh, yeah. And having some kind of maybe beginning to seem like it's a more episodic narrative but actually gets pulled into a more serialized long form narrative could oh, yes. also be a great switch up to like make us think oh 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 we're gonna slow the pacing down and do a little bit of uh -huh. mini stories with the police but it could also be the no this is what's gonna bring you into the larger world of link click and especially i like that since this is coming off of the oh hey there was a breach of trust and mm -hmm. i don't know if this team will be able to function and everything mm -hmm. and then suddenly you have an outside force that comes in maybe completely positively right mm -hmm. but that's at least something where then they might have a forcing function of oh hey no we do actually need to we help them to out here together we have to work together but we don't want to and so then you know there can be all sorts of ways that that shakes things up so much more. fun tension that can be applied there oh, yes. and then also the ways in which when you have that tension you know some Sometimes edges smooth over because you're forced to come into contact. Yeah, and you're dealing with external things rather than internal things, and so then you have to band together, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that could also up the stakes for the next time this happens. Oh, yes. So it doesn't just affect you two yeah. and the client, potentially, right, or like... the world and the timeline itself. It could affect, you know other people right what happens when you're the loose cannon but you are definitely a civilian it's not the like you know the loose cannon cop and the you know old dog cop it's just no neither of you are cops <laughs> yeah yeah I, I would laugh if this is just a no this is just a one and done thing and then that would be <laughs> and they yeah. never work with <laughs> thank the, you it was nice working with you they never See work you with later, the government you know? or the you know the police <laughs> right. force ever again you know <laughs> but all right y'all without further ado let's get into this Maybe now is not quite the best time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say these customers are being way too understanding. My heart uh, is just getting pulled in so many different directions right now. Oh, Dad saves the day. Yep. Oh no. Go find a table outside. This kid's gonna get kidnapped. Oh. That's because we have cops, we have a case. Oh shit. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. Yeah, but... hopefully it's it's all just fine. Yeah, but I'm worried. Yeah. Yeah, blocking line of sight. Yeah. A lot of noise. You won't be able to necessarily uh -huh. hear the kid. Focus on two. Oh no! Fuck. It's already the toy's already down. Shit! But you'd think people would notice, right? Like, you, oh man, if he just got grabbed. Although he might have just wandered off. No, but he would have no, taken he his wouldn't, toys. He wouldn't leave the phone or the toy. Wow! And people were accusing them of that. Oh shit! Oh, that's that's cruel. Search of the child. Okay. Oh well, shit. Okay. <laughs> he was pulled into the TV show through the yeah, phone. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, if they can enter through photographs, you know. Like... I mean, hey, it's a temperate climate here, so it'll be a long time before the next rainy day, you know. Yeah, yeah. He lied as easily as he breathed. Yep. No, but he believed back then. Sure. That debt. 
Yeah. 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 That's a good idea. I love that he's thinking about this in terms of like, as if he's like looking at the past with that oh, kind of ability. Yeah, nice. You know, like, would right. he change it? Yeah, right. He regularly goes into the past and yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fun. Should we do it all? The way they just kind of like, uh, uh, <laughs> Lay your hands on a police officer. Oh, Oh, God, the voice acting is so good. Mm -hmm. Yep, totally just a rumor. Already? Oh, that's rough. Wow. Oh, my God, psychics and all that. Just. All right, well, this cop's awesome. This cop's amazing, yeah. And I like that he went here preemptively because he knew he'd come here and he's like, hey, if they're legit, I want to find out so that that way he doesn't get scammed again. Oh, he's praying at shrines. He's doing uh, everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just desperate for anything. In less than six months. What's the stat? Like 72 hours? Or you probably won't find them? Yeah. I mean, that might be in the U.S. specifically. Sure. Can't do that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. He's kind of throwing his words back in, uh, mm -hmm. back in yeah. Lu Guang's face. Mm -hmm. But it's also him kind of accepting it right. as well. Oh, All right, the sister's gonna slap them into this and be like, "Hey, yeah. come on, we gotta try at least, well, right?" Because this is the situation where they might be able to do something because we can show them info. If we they get info, info, yeah, they might be able to find the kid. Right, not to change the past, but just you know, exactly, exactly. Because the kid hasn't turned up dead. Yeah, but it could lead them to where their son is already died. Oh no, she's now watching the show. Fuck. Oh. <sighs> because she didn't have why show <laughs> she hasn't slept at all did she go to their shop too Mm. Oh wait, no, they have, they have, yeah, they have the flat tops, so that's not their shop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so he was already kind of superstitious in general. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, this track is so. Oh, so the kid's been gone for a while. Oh. Three years ago, it was a famous shop. It didn't last long. Yeah, that. So literally, the, that's is, why he's been yeah. saying, "I won't let them close this case." Is that right? Been but three also, years and and the that's wife's why had the wife three years like to this. get like this, or you know, two years or something like that, yeah. right? But also, like the idea that the kid might actually still be okay is like, like, <laughs> like not a shot. Like, like yeah. maybe they could get lucky, you know. But like, or maybe they get some closure and find out sure. what happened, you know. Fuck. <laughs> Wow. Hey, oh, oh, shit. And of course, he'd be doing stuff like this. Yeah. I 
I can't imagine what it must have been like when the kid first disappeared, and then he's asking the customers, did you see anything? And just none of them. Wait. No way. Fuck. Okay, but how long ago was that? Because if it was, if there was a decent amount of time Years since then, ago. no, right? But like since the disappearance, then that means like if the boy survived like two weeks, then theoretically he could have survived two years, right? I mean, it depends though. Even if they do get their kid back, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a teenager. I, I, I. Mm. The light of hope. Yep. Yeah. I'm shocked that it took that long for us to see him break down. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh-huh. Nice. Luke you're genius. Using her mm -hmm. to talk to him for yep, you. Yep, yep. Uh-huh. That was, that was... No, <laughs> don't... Don't, don't give him hope. Just... Oh. I mean, I guess they need the pictures, so... You need pictures, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> yeah, no sharing. Yeah. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
Shit! Oh. Well, shit. Okay, um... Damn it! That... I mean, okay, hang on. So... Yeah, Lu Guang's been lying. Yeah. He has more ability than he's been yeah. letting them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he knew... Because if... Okay, so... He said he didn't have any info because he stuck to blind spots, which is sus, because that would mean that the person planned this whole thing, which meant that they were either... Uh, like on the look for a child that would be left or they were just hoping like thinking that maybe that child specifically would be left but the fact that he knew what way to go when he said no they didn't went in all the blind spots how would he know that you know well no 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 no. you can just say that that's a supposition based on the lack of info sure or you can think about it in a reverse way where they he's making that guess based on Based on that, there, but yes, the. Oh okay. boy! Okay, all right. <laughs> we, we had things go wrong so so quickly. Yeah, I love it. Like you guys had to just literally listen, like, uh -huh. or at least check down. She, you had to just literally pass along this to Lu Guang of the. Oh no, because Lu Guang was listening outside. Yeah, he was listening outside to the thing. Now, I guess the reason why is because they um, don't know. She didn't specifically say when she saw. Right. Uh, yeah, him walking around with when, them. When she said that, I was thinking that it's not that it was that day. It was, oh, sometime after. Yeah, and yeah. that could be the clue for the, oh, the kid is still alive. You know, like, I thought it was, all that kind of stuff. Right. My thought was that it was three years ago, but it wasn't the exact day and the exact right. moment. I thought it was that it was like, you know, I saw them like a week later or something. Yeah, but like, exactly. But like, it was so long ago right. that I What are the remember. odds that w it would have been right there at that point? Right, you and, know? I, and I think what it is is it's the classic thing of where she remembered that it was that kid. Uh -huh. And then she was also like, huh, that's weird. Yeah. She didn't do anything about it, so she feels guilty. But three, she also doesn't remember probably enough of the details surrounding it other than that event happened, but not mm -hmm. like when it happened or oh, any yeah, of that Oh yeah, of course stuff. not, because it was, it was something that was innocuous to her when it happened. Years but, ago. Yeah. But then, oh hey, later you see the signs and you're like, like literal posters, you know. Oh, like, wait, 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 well, also, also that's another thing. Wait, actually, when she told the story, no, she, she saw him three years ago too. So that might have actually been much more recent from when the kidnapping happened. Wait. When she was telling the story, she was saying, I saw him a long time ago. Like, I remember him. I've met him before. Right. But I but I think she's the... She was just talking about in context of the milk tea place. Um. Uh, well, so she knew about the milk tea place, right? Okay, cool. It's, you know, fairly famous. She probably had gone there once or twice, right? Maybe she was on the way there with her friend. Mm-hmm. She had seen the kid, right? She's, she has seen the kid since present time, right? Which was right. the event that we got here. And they didn't realize when it would have been. So it's like, oh, shit. Um, and the fact that it was that soon after, you know, that also is rough because now it doesn't actually tell them anything, right? It's a complication for the mission right now, but it doesn't actually let them know that the kid might be okay years later. Right. Now, the... The thing that seemed odd to me, and maybe maybe this is just part of the uncomfortable aspect of if you see a child kidnapping, right? But that he had his toys, um, the toys were left there. None of the other people that were around, like as the customers, they like they would have they would have noticed if like some person grabs a kid and like puts a mm -hmm. you know covers their mouth and pulls them away, right? Right, right, right? So the person just came up and just convince the kid to leave with them yeah and yep. it, all and it's all, just fuck. all it would take all it would take honestly is to have the kid not be told exactly what to do when a stranger does that sure and as long as the adult knows how to kidnap a child uh-huh they went yeah. to the acme school of kidnapping a right child, right basically oh i'll give you some candy or some oh, shit yeah yeah. yeah yeah they 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 would get the kid to do what they wanted immediately and mm -hmm. i mean immediately it's terrifyingly yeah. simple how easy it is to convince uh, like like if you looked up like the the true crime stuff the the things with this it's it's very disturbing mm -hmm. how easy yep. it is for these people to kidnap kids it's, it's yeah it's so it yeah the the detail at the beginning where you've got the show like still playing on mm -hmm. the on the phone and then it's just 
wait, but we're not seeing the kid. We're not hearing the kid. And then, and then the you see the toy is just lying there, and it's like, fuck, man. Like, yeah. that that was brutal because it's all of the cues that to the parent would be like, yep, I, you know, even if they can't see him for a second, right? They can still mm -hmm. maybe, you know, the, those parent ears amidst the din, they can, you know, tell that, ah, yeah, okay, Johnny's over there, right? right. Um, but nope. The only positive I can see is that only one of the toys was dropped. So at the very least, they can find the hero of justice, you know. Oh. The star, yeah, because yeah, only the villain was left. Whereas gotcha. the other one was picked up. Right, which Probably. which also makes sense then because if, because the, the main thing that I was thinking is that if a person comes over and convinces a kid to leave with them, well, the kid wouldn't want to leave their toys there. Or Especially at least, not their favorite toy. Not their favorite toy. Yeah, and so, yeah. yeah, he takes the favorite toy, but he doesn't really, the, the villain is just there so that the hero has someone to fight, you know. Right, right, right. Man, that's that's just brutal. And also just the way in which the kind of the minor lesson here is that, oh, were the parents greedy because they didn't hire an employee and make it so right. that one of them could watch the kid when, so they like alternate who was working with the employee and yep. thus then they'd be able to make less money but mm -hmm. spend more time with the kid. Or even just have it be something where they're not quite as frazzled with the rush and can, you know, spare the glance every once in a while like yeah you know, yeah they spend you know every five minute they they spend five minutes on the hour of you know every hour with their kid you know? yeah yeah exactly right, right. so you know, the kid feels like okay i'm, I'm being attentive right. he's, to he's got to... he's got his spot with the phone where he watches his show and then they come over hey do you need anything you know do you need to go yeah, to the bathroom right, or, right you know you're hungry yeah but God, man, like but like, once I saw like the kid was like this old and they're like, oh, you can sit outside. And I'm like, oh, with a police case, why are we getting this backstory? Yeah. And, and oh, why no. are we specifically showcasing the way in which the, the mother is Isn't like, it? is like frazzled and like, frazzled, you know, right, yeah. right, right, uh -huh. right. Yeah. Yep. And oh. then, and then the whole thing from the dad, which would normally be like the, oh yeah, awesome. And really the reason why they probably had him be outside rather than in here is probably because, I mean, I, you know, uh, it's hot and stuffy back here. It's, you know, all sorts of things. Not just the don't like, hey, you know, we need to be able to work. But like theoretically, if he's distracted with the show, that should be just fine. But, you know, no, having him be out in the open air, yeah. you know, like. But yes, you're right. If they had just a stool that he could sit on, mm -hmm. suddenly this whole. This whole problem wouldn't whole have problem happened. Wouldn't have happened. But, yeah. but the thing is, is that with how stretched thin they are little little things like that that are you know mm -hmm. maybe not the best decisions would just mm -hmm. happen and that's probably where a lot of the guilt and the shame comes from for the parents because it's the oh fuck if we had done things slightly differently why didn't we why weren't mm -hmm. we just better right? right you know and then this wouldn't have happened i will say there was an interesting camera shot which made me think like something was up when mm -hmm. the kid like comes out and looks at this other customer and the customer just kind of looks at the kid and then like ignores him ignores him yeah yeah. Yeah. And then we, bit. like, if we if we hadn't had seen the culprit at the end of the episode, I actually was thinking that it was, was going to end up being this guy. Um, Hold on, the, the player is being a bit wonky here. Yeah. But, but, yeah. Okay, and as far as a motivating force for why, like, even after everything in the previous episode, yeah, of course they take this job. You know, yep, because it's a, it's a kid, right? Mm-hmm. And... I think with the way that Link Click is as a show, I think they will end up being able to save this kid. But yeah, but it's the journey. It's it's the, the yeah yeah it's the emotions involved and with that and from all like practical like realistic standpoints, if this kid turned up turned up dead, mm -hmm. I would not be surprised in the slightest. Right? Yeah, but I, I wouldn't be surprised either. There's yeah uh, such a lovely. A bit of emotion that you can pull by introducing a new cast of characters that have no attachment to the story oh, uh -huh. yet but we build emotional attachment to them so yep. that over the course of like a one to five episode you know mini arc oh yeah we can have uh us go through the gamut of emotions that the characters are our main cast are right. actually um experiencing and here. i i gotta say i really like um and maybe maybe this was something where it's a lot better suited to a multi-episode like mini arc because of the uh problems with uh Cheng Jiaxi and Lu Guang before this episode, right. you know? Yeah. So so they can't just go immediately into the case. We can't start with them being like, all right, here's the situation. Yeah. But I think this kind of case works a lot better as a multi episode arc because oh, yeah. I don't I don't know how long it's gonna be, but mm -hmm. Having there be that tension that we're left with at the end of an episode where no, the kid is not found, right? It's that mm -hmm. 
that bit of being able to taste what the parents have had to deal with for two plus years, right. you know. Um, so I, I like I like that they did it this way. The fact that we had the stinger at the end not be the, oh, we saw the culprit and they got away. But um, uh, time butterfly effect stuff might be happening. If, if there ever were to be a butterfly effect that could happen as a result of them doing this stuff, which theoretically there might not be because, you know, Lu Guang said that that stuff could happen. But at the same time, you tried to change things and it didn't yeah. change anything. So, yeah. you know, who knows? Um, like that's a that's a whole different kind of like despair, not of yeah. the we mustn't change anything, but no, it actually is set in stone and we can't. Um, right, that's is potentially turned on its head now because people could see him back there, and you saw someone that you know, like mm -hmm. that knew you back then. And two, and two, at this point now, I'm almost convinced Lu Guang is lying because mm -hmm. one, it didn't need to be a picture, which, sure. It's arbitrary. That doesn't matter. Yeah, that kind of goes back could, to the premise of the show. But of kind of right, mm -hmm. but but it could in that it's the no because it's a video, it's moving. I guess so you can be in it. Wait, why? No, yeah, no explanation. We're but then also, I have awareness of all security cameras in a one kilometer radius or whatever. It's like that. That could just be aspects of where we're getting the premise of the power. Later expanded. In, expanded later in the show. Yeah. Sure. Sure. But that's all, like the arbitrariness of it kind of stands out more because mm -hmm. we're all, we've already had an established status right. quo with the show. So yeah, if yeah. they're so so if this is just the story playing a little bit fast and loose with its rules, cool. But yep. I'm just making a note here right. that Lu Guang's powers are more than what he's letting on. Right. He lets on what he can do when it becomes relevant, which right. generally speaking generally speaking, doesn't mean anything. But specifically in some areas in where he keeps things from Cheng Zhaoxi, from ways in which I get yeah, some it's... specific vibes about the ways mm -hmm. in which his power could be used, and those haven't been brought up yet. Yep. And thus I'm like, hmm. Right. Mm. The show has enough has plenty of leg to stand on with regards to the emotional core of the journey that mm -hmm. it doesn't need to be about Lu Guang's powers and what it can and can't right. do yes. because we've got this wonderful narrative even without that. Right. But if they want to have that become more of a mechanically relevant aspect mm -hmm. of the narrative, mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that they're setting up. They're setting up. Yeah. 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 Also, this is really good stuff for Lu Guang's sister because yeah. um, we get to see an interesting characterization of her. Mm -hmm. She feels guilt because she yep. did see the kid. She did right. think something was slightly off, mm -hmm. but she didn't have the courage to do anything about it. Right. The idea that in some ways she's the client also here. Yeah, I really like that that there's, bit of relevance here because she's... A, oh, go for it. Well, there's just something that can be addressed in the past here with her. Sure, yeah. And the fact that they bumped into her means, oh, we might be forced to kind of bring her along oh, or yeah. have it be addressed in some way. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of things that that will be very interesting as a result of this both in the present and in the past. And like given that she's the the other main character of the trio, yeah. but because she is not directly involved in the actual missions themselves, mm -hmm. this is a nice way to be able to give character focus to her where like with Lu Guang and Cheng Zhaoxi, it's a lot more straightforward, right? They're interacting yeah. with each other, they can have those talks while they're, mm -hmm. you know, uh waiting for the the kidnapping and stuff, although God damn, Lu Guang, timing, right? Like that, you you couldn't have said that before you did the mm -hmm. the the start of the job, or you couldn't have said it after, you know. Yeah, you the listened job. in. You should have known about this. Yeah, and you, like you know, you knew the general time. Like even if it's like, oh, it's a ten minute window, it might not, you know, that, bruh. Like with how professional Lu Guang is with regards to doing things in the way that his actions might have a rippling effect on stuff. Go a little bit earlier. Yeah, like or the fact that sure, but also just the fact that you decide to distract him when he's back there with something that's granted important. A kid's life is on the line, my right, guy. Right. Yeah. Or or maybe it isn't, and you know that. Uh. Well. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there's like, a whole other thing with that. There. Yeah. Yeah. The fact that he one distracted him. Two ended up not putting him back early enough that he can kind of wait a little bit and kind mm -hmm. of get himself set up exactly where he wants to be. And then three didn't kind of prep him for that. Oh there. yeah, didn't tell it's him. It's like... just incompetence by Lu Guang, or it's the these are the limits that he has. But then it's also the wait, no, Lu Guang keeps secrets from Cheng Zhao. Right. So it's it's elements. Damn it. Yeah, it's elements of basically like um, things that if we're focusing just on the emotional narrative, 
then maybe that stuff isn't as important, nope. right? Because, hey, you know, stuff happens and this is the way that we can keep the tension high or whatever so that then when the thing happens, it, it all just sort of clicks. Cool. But these aspects feel a lot more like like glaring than some of the other elements of mm -hmm. just like, oh, the fact that with video footage he can go through cameras and stuff. Sure, why not? You why know, not? Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm really excited for the next episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 Let's Play on Twitch. And if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.